So we're in North Wales, Pennsylvania today, which is about 15 minutes out of like Lansdale, Sodergan area. It's not too far off of the uh, beaten path, the interstate. Um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be working on a rotted soffit area above a porch. Well, the problem is what we were originally going to do is we were originally going to put some adjustable or flexible rather J channel around it because it's oval shaped and we were going to put soffit up there to make it look nice. I'm sorry about the guy mowing the lawn over there. I'm sure my voice is drowning him out but you probably can still hear him. But anyway, so we were going to put that up there but you can't buy flexible J channel anymore. Nobody has it. Home Depot, Lowe's, um, nothing online. Even, even the... Uh, the supplier that I use for vinyl siding doesn't have any. It's all special order and it's from the other side of the country over by California somewhere. It's a standstill at sea. Dozens of cargo ships waiting for weeks off the coast of California. We're going to use fiberglass. We're going to patch it with that and then we're going to paint it to have a party this Saturday so they want it to look nice. Let's take a look at it. This is what we got here. This is just surface damage here. It doesn't go all the way through. So we're going to use fiberglass filler to fix it and a few other spots as well. I'll show you how it's done. I just don't want to chase this any further than I have to. So. If you're fortunate, and it depends on the situation, like this is all loose here, see? See so this piece? But it's hard behind it. So we can put a screw up in here. Really all we care about is making sure that this piece, this piece, and this piece are all on the same level plane. So if I pulled this out, it'd obviously be a lip because you'd fall down into the valley where this was taking up the space. So if we can just put a screw in there and hold it up there, and make sure it's nice and tight, and it's solid behind there. It feels nice and solid. Just a couple screws, this just becomes a shim. You want to keep everything that's adhered good. Like this is all adhered good here. And then when you get over here, you can see that there's a little bit of movement. So don't go crazy. Just cut and see if you can get just the part that moves out of there. movement. Now it's adhered good here. See? That's all it's about. Oh, oh, right there it doesn't. Now it's all adhered good. We can put a screw in this to hold this, but this is all adhered good. And you keep looking. See how this is loose here? See how this is loose here? We gotta get rid of that. It's hard to hold the camera and do this in one hand. But you're just cutting away anything that's not stuck. Like this, not stuck. Thank you. 
all the loose stuff taken down. I scraped off the paint that was all loose. Um, put screws in there and tightened everything up just so it takes up space. Now if that's all tight, we're going to fill that with a fiberglass filler. Probably would, should wear gloves because it's nasty stuff if you get it on you. You can bring me a rag if you want. I don't want to open a new one yet. I'm going to use this one up first. You put this on in layers anyway, so you're going to put a thin layer on and then you're going to go back. Sorry, is the sun in your eyes? <laughs> then you're going to add cream hardener to it. The more you add, the faster it hardens. Is it okay to use this one? No. Yeah, one. you can. So number two, right? Yeah. And then you just mix this together until everything is pink. And don't use good tools because you're probably going to want to throw them out when you're done. And you can get the camera as soon as I get this mixed, right? It's kind of like doing drywall, only this stuff hardens up like concrete or fiberglass. Because that's what it is. Got on me. It got me. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, it's like doing drywall just much stickier. <laughs> much stickier. And you don't want to leave any big grooves if you can help it. And you can, the workability time for this is not very long. So if you get it on there and it looks pretty smooth, leave it alone because you're going to be able to sand it once it hardens anyway. It's not going to, it's not like drywall compound in the sense that you can't keep working it. it if, you, if I mess with that in like another minute or two, it's going to leave like, it's going to look like I dragged a screen from a window screen through. It's going to be all blotchy and bumpy and it's not going to look good. So you want to get it on there as fast as you can and then move on and use up all you can. Now you got a little bit of extra. Use it. Get it off your, get it off your cardboard, because once this hardens up, your cardboard's gonna be unusable too. So if you leave your cardboard clean like that, then you can use it over and over again. And if you don't have enough to, to coat everything, like there's a space right here, that gap, because I didn't have enough to get in there, if you can't squeeze some in, don't worry about it. You get back and add some next time. You can layer this on top of it and top of it and top of it and keep going. So we let that harden up. We went to Home Depot and grabbed matching paint color. Now we gotta get the sander ready and sand it. You need any help? No, I need a good piece. All right, we're gonna start with an 80 grit. Perfect. Perfect. Working with this uh, fiberglass filler, this Bondo, it's important to pretend some of the COVID's in the area because the stuff causes cancer. We don't want to breathe it. The little fibers, it's fiberglass. You don't want fiberglass in your lungs. So take precautions if you're going to use this stuff. When you sand it, it puts a lot of dust. Even if you have a vacuum on your sander, 
it's going to throw dust. This stuff is really, really fine. I rinsed off with a garden hose. And now we're going to put some more fiberglass on, fill in the little pits that's there. And then we'll sand it again in about 20 minutes when it hardens up. Second coat. Perfect match. One thing Home Depot does good is good paint, bare paint, love bare paint, and uh, they match the color well. Thank <laughs> you.